Weather is 95% go. These boosters on the outside, they have flown before a Psyche mission a little more than a year ago. They are back on the pad along with a brand new center core booster and a spacecraft bound for the Jupiter moon Europa. Yeah, Daryl, I can confirm you listen to heavy the teams that everybody is a go for launch. They have resolved the temperature uh, issue they were looking at on second stage. Uh, everybody's given the go uh, for that, and uh, Falcon is in startup, so the flight computer has taken over, and we're getting SpaceX ready. SpaceX launch director is go for launch. And there we hear Charlie Meyer say that SpaceX is ready for launch, and uh, Europa Clipper getting ready to lift off. And there's a great update as now it vents out the locks inside the line of the transporter erector. We are inside of 30 seconds. 30 seconds and counting. You missed 15 seconds and counting. And here we go. 10, Ten. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, ignition, and liftoff. Liftoff, Falcon Heavy with Europa Clipper, unveiling the mysteries of an enormous ocean lurking beneath the icy crust of Jupiter's moon, Europa. Engine chamber pressures are nominal. See that the chamber pressures are always in here. All 37 permanent engines look great. Rocket beginning to roll. Putting down 5.1 billion pounds of thrust. Coming up, they're going to back off those engines just a bit. that we have, uh, power and trajectory are nominal. We've been flying for just under two minutes so far. Everything looking good? These side boosters, once they do their job, they will be expended. If you're familiar with the Falcon Heavy, you know that they bring the boosters back on certain launches, but not on this one, because all of the performance is needed to push Europa Clipper into its proper orbit. Things continue to look good as the vehicle uh, heads down its uh, ascent phase here. All telemetry is looking very nominal for this flight this morning. Uh, Falcon Heavy is performing very well. just about 30 seconds away from separating those side boosters. Their engines will cut off first, then they will separate. MVAC is chilling. Starting to chill down that MVAC D engine in the second stage. And that's uh, where we need to get the engine uh, chilled to the proper temperatures before flowing uh, liquid oxygen and RP-1 into it. So uh, they're conditioning the engine to make sure things are ready for when it's ready to uh, start up. Stand by for booster separation. Booster engine cut off. Side booster separation confirmed. And there they go. Those two boosters previously flown on Psyche. Uh, this will be their sixth flight. We thank you for their service this morning. They did a great job getting Falcon Heavy and Europa Clipper on its way as the center core takes over and continues mission uh, down its ascent. Things are looking really good in the telemetry. Power trajectory looked nominal. 
and uh, chamber pressures on the nine center core engines look really good. And just a little more of 20 seconds from now, we'll get the cutoff of the main engine on the center core booster that remains. Four seconds after that, we will separate. Flying out over the Atlantic Ocean. There's a look from inside. There we go. Stage one. Uh, stage separation down. confirmed. And stage separation from the uh, center core. Getting ready for MVAC startup, SES-1. We're getting some applause here in the Mission Directors Center. And there you see the MVAC-D engine lighting up. Next thing up in about 10 seconds will be fairing NYPY separation. NYPY FTS has saved. And fair, the fairing has protected your Europa Clipper on its ascent th up into space, but once we get into space, we don't need that fairing anymore. Uh, so there they go. Confirmed. Fairing is separated, and those will be recovered, Daryl, by uh, SpaceX's own recovery okay, ship, Go Cosmos. And there um, you see them falling away into space. That is the only part of this rocket that will be recovered. The glow of the MVAC D engine as it uh, performs its uh, first burn here. This is about a um, three minute and 47 second burn. Uh, things are looking great. Uh, matter of fact, this is one of the shortest first burns that has been done on a Falcon Heavy uh, by SpaceX, but uh, it is required to get us into that parking orbit for that long coast that we have to get ready for the interplanetary trajectory that uh, we're gonna need to get Europa Clipper on its way that we heard Jenny talk about to get those Earth Assist uh, slingshots as it, it uh, heads on its way for its mission. So things looking really good this morning with the performance of the Falcon Heavy. MVAC is performing well and everything looks good thus far in the today's mission. Usually those burns are the other way around with a longer first burn and the shorter second burn, but in this case, it is reversed as we look at some crystal clear views of the MVAC-D engine, the Stage 2 that's carrying Europa Clipper. Orbital light 